Yeah, you can touch it. We are outside today, we've come to Longkang fishing. So Longkang is the Malay word for drain, and back in the olden days, Singaporean kids would legitimately go to the drain and fish. That was like a pastime, a little hobby for them. Uh, so these days they've got like man-made Longkang fishing where there's a shallow pool, and they pour in lots of little small fish, and then you go and catch them. And do you like Longkang fishing, Ru? Yeah. Kieran, who's going to be better, you or Ru? Me. Why? He's going to catch a dead one. Yes, historically when Ruin goes long gang fishing, he only gets dead fish. Why Ru? Okay, here we are today. We are at a place called Orto, which has like a lot of different kids stuff. And there's long gang fishing here. Uh, so you sort of come in, you pay like $12 and you're going to get like a net, a small tank to take the fish home. And then your kids live as long as they want. Thank you. You got a live one. Do it quickly. Is he still alive? Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. when we've come here before, it was when Ruin was really quite small and he couldn't really catch the live fish. So by the end of the day, he just had a tank full of the dead fish, which is really sad. We have a picture of it. We have a picture of it at home. So in this modern age, if I was to ask my kids, what do you want to do today? Unfortunately, they would say, I want to play on my iPad. But of course, in our day, when we were kids, playing in the parks, climbing trees and things like that. And I kind of wish times were a bit simpler because I think there's something very important for kids' development that they're able to deal with more boring days as well. Because right now, my kids never get bored. You know, because there's always something new for them to like watch on their iPad or a new toy that they have at home. But real life is not like that. One day you're going to have a job and my job might be boring. And you're going to have to be able to deal with that boring day. And if you've had a life of constant entertainment and play dates, it's going to be difficult for you to adjust to that, I feel. Okay, we bros, let me see your tanks ruined first. How many fish is that? Um, 20. 20? That's a pretty good estimate, actually. And how many fish did Kieran get? 27. Do you want to put the fish back in the water so they no! can live for longer? No! You want to take them home? Yeah. Hey, Kieran, if you put too many fish into a tank, right, then there's not enough oxygen for each of them to live. So maybe we should put some of these fish back in. What do you think? Yeah? yeah? Okay, good. Yeah, release. He's going for freedom. Freedom! Yeah. That's enough? Ru, do you want to put some fish back? I don't want to eat my fish. Uh, there it is, the traditional parent attempt to get the fish back in the water, which it invariably fails. So we have to take them home and look after them. So here at Orto, they also have bigger ponds with bigger fish. And you get a fishing rod and you cast it, and you try and catch those fish. I have never done this before. I definitely think the boys would be excited to do proper fishing, but as far as I understand, fishing takes a lot of patience, right? You have to sit and wait for the fish to bite. What is the fish? What is the fish? Do we get veggies? The guy's going to come over and teach us. I don't know if they have the patience for it. Okay, so this is Uncle Edmund. Hello, Edmund. Hey, morning. So you're going to teach us how to fish? Yes. So at the start, we had to cast the line quite a few times. There's a couple of mistakes and the line broke at one point. Oh, 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 what happened? So we actually had a fish on the line, but then I guess that fish was too strong. My turn. <laughs> Ruin gets a turn, okay. Oh, there's a fish, got a fish, come on. Wow! It's actually great to see them catch an actual fish because, I mean, the fish is quite big, I feel like, certainly for kids, it's like landing jaws, you know? To see it come out of the water, thrashing and moving, it's pretty exciting and the kids were pretty excited. Yay! Yeah! It's my lucky! Can we touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. It's a bit slimy. Where do you put it? Oh, don't need a fish. It can't be our pet. Where do we put it? Well, you can bring it back home then. Bring it back home! 
<laughs> so I'd failed to think to myself about how to prepare the boys for what happens if you actually get a fish because of course they want to take it home but I don't know what to do with the fish how do you skin it how do you gut it how do you cook it so to me it's just a hassle I think it's much better and friendlier to like put it back in the water with its friends uh, I strongly tried to persuade the boys this time don't release him this time don't worry. Okay, well boys, listen, if we're going to take a fish home, we have to cook it and eat it, you understand? I don't want to eat it. Well, if you don't want to eat it, then we have to put it back in the water. Okay. okay. I want to eat it. But Ruin, don't you think he'd be happier living in the water with his friends? Okay. Luckily, in the end, they did come around to it and they didn't insist on taking a fish home. Actually, I always think to myself that my boys are so competitive that they get annoyed when the other one succeeds, but I don't think that's the case because Ruin got the fish first and Kieran was fine, you know, he was happy. He wasn't like suddenly very jealous. Uh, thankfully though, Kieran did get a chance and he caught his own. <laughs> Yay! One that we caught. It's a similar one. I want to hold it. Whoa! I think he wants bread. I want to put it back. I want to put it back. The both of us. Ready? Three, go! You always hear about fishing and fishing with your kids. Now that wasn't really part of my lifestyle growing up or is it not? But there is something nice and bonding about it, especially in this situation where the dad is needed to help the kid achieve and uh, you do it together and it's kind of like nice teamwork. Man versus fish. Who's gonna win? Uh. <laughs> I think that this kind of fishing is really quite good for kids. I presume that it will teach them some patience, and I think that's useful for kids. Also might be good in teaching them the concept of where your food comes from in a way, because I mean, our kids are so used to eating nuggets on their plate, they don't really stop and think where it comes from. And I think this helps to illustrate that, you know, if you were to catch a fish, there should be a reason for it. And you should be taking it home to eat it, or you should be putting it back. Again. That's enough. That's enough fishing. We caught so many fish today. What do we say to Uncle Edmund? Thank you, Uncle Edmund. Thank you. And they definitely wanted to stay longer at the, the big boys fishing. But I'm, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done for this episode. Make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell so you get notifications the next time we have a video up. You can also find the Click Network app, which gives you the videos before they hit YouTube. We'll see you for the next episode of Daddy Diaries. So we can do it again.